Hello, my name is Jared Carlisle. Today we're going to be showing you how to work a battery backup on a heating load unit. This one is called the Slimline. So the first thing you're going to do to get the front off, uh, we need to access the controls that are going to be underneath the glass. And so to get your screen off, you're going to pick up on it and then out, and that will release it from its position. Pick it up. What you're going to do is access the controls under here. And what we're looking for is a square unit like this that's going to have a battery slot. So this one is going to take four AA batteries. And don't worry about there not being currently batteries in there. Um, you wouldn't want them in there with you when you currently have power uh, because it's just going to drain those batteries. Uh, so leave it empty until uh, it's necessary. And what you're going to do is find the control module as well. And right now, this is flipped over to the remote option. And what you're going to do is flip that over to the on position, okay? And then we're going to insert our batteries. <clears throat> now, what you're going to hear when you do insert these batteries is one click. That lets you know that the fireplace has engaged. And then you'll hear another click that lets you know that the unit is about to ignite. There's the one click. <clears throat> you might hear some clicking. That is the unit firing up. And then there's our other click for ignition. And then the unit fires. So just in case the power goes out, this would be a great tool for you to be able to still work your fireplace. Get in there, find this little black box right here, insert the batteries, switch this over to the, um, to the on position, and that will light your fireplace during the power outage. Okay, now that you have turned your fireplace on with a battery backup, when you're done using this, you're gonna want to remove these batteries. Uh, so you can remove these batteries, it will turn the unit off, and flip this to the off position that will disable the unit as well. 